What is up YouTube and welcome back to another episode and season of the Universe Sim. This is episode one, season three, and I'm a little bit more excited about this one than the previous ones because I actually have an idea. So in terms of the traits, they are all unlocked and I am going ahead with Highlander on this one, which the stats for Highlander are that it makes your nuggets immortal. So they'll never die unless you kill them or they get the plague. Easy enough to manage, but then on top of that, I've made them yellow, and I didn't really think about it until I started the game, but then I decided that they are like the Simpsons, so yeah, I've done the, um, the idea is there's Marge and Homer there, and then the three kids after that were the uh, Bart, Lisa, and Maggie, I don't know if anybody watches the Simpsons, but anyway, um, and then of course, for every single Highlander that is born after that, they can be named by you guys if you're interested. I'm hoping that this idea goes down well because I'd like to try and do it for the 1.0 release as well because then we can get Immortals travelling to all the planets. Seeing how long we can keep the Nuggets alive for. Um, it's the first time I've been excited anyway. So the only other option was the Greenlander, which basically the people or the Nuggets plant trees. Uh, not as exciting. I wanted to do this whole Immortal. So the Simpson family is the original five Immortals. And then all of the Immortals after that can be named after or by you guys. So as normal, straight into the planet. Looked for the largest body of water I could find. This is not the largest uh, world. This is the second largest for reference. And that body of water you can see behind there is the largest on this planet. So I'll put the evolution tower down as normal. Take of course, um, I'm not going right up to the coast this time again. Nuggets. I'm just a little bit different Largely to try and make it of their a bit more. Instead of putting all of these sort of main buildings around each other, I'm going to spread them out piece. a bit more. But there we can see our first two yellow nuggets. Straight into the research, of course. And, and the their, their names will be changed shortly. They but in the, the meantime, we just need to get that first bit of research in. They'll immediately jump cheese. on getting... Uh, their house done and as you can see the highlander they live Nuggets forever unless i kill them to one or uh, the plague Although does there are some things the plague's easy enough to control the only negative to them getting the, the plague is if they do get the plague they spread it to other nuggets very quickly but i'm not too worried um because we do keep on top of the diseases anyway and create it would all be quite so obviously calling them out in the me if you start because at this point I didn't have the brainwave but at some point I had a really big smile on my face them. and I thought about the whole Simpson thing and then I realized that we could hopefully get you guys to interact by naming your own Highlander and seeing how long I can keep you alive for I promise I won't kill anybody on purpose uh, but it'll be interesting to see the funny thing is um, these sort of Nuggets, the, the the first two, so Adam and Eve or, or, or Homer and Marge, uh, they don't usually live past the age of about 45, I believe it is. Um, so it'll be interesting because will they be the longest, the highest aged nugget ever by the time we get to the moon? Or will there be somebody else that's 200 years old? I don't know. So here we go with the first the quest of the uh, game, and of course, I, I might be making. I'm also uh, renaming them at this point. This is where I realised that my brain went crazy for all my ideas that I really I'm excited about. Anyway, um, so I'm thinking about doing a quick video separate from the series, but just on how to unlock Highlander or any of the other ones that anybody's struggling with. If anybody is struggling with them, please let me know, and I'll make sure I make that as a priority. For all I know, you guys have already unlocked this immediately and had a go, but uh, it was certainly the most difficult out of all of the uh, genetics to unlock because you have to complete all of the quests. Um, not the events, just the quests, which is above the line on the star screen down in the bottom right there. Um, and you have to complete them all, and then obviously that unlocks this. To unlock the Greenlander, which was the one I did before this, all you have to do is find all ten seeds on the planet and put them in your farm. Um, the reason I was struggling with that one was because I didn't actually know there were two crops that were stone that you found only on the top of mountains or around the top of mountains. Um, there was the rock candy and something else. But again, if anybody's struggling with anything like that, let me know. I'll do one for the green um, Greenlander as well. 
Uh, the Greenland are the, the nuggets as they walk, plant seeds apparently, so your roads will become forests, I guess. I don't know. It doesn't sound as exciting as this immortal one, which is why I'm going for it. But as it stands, at the beginning of this game, and what we're doing now, this is just plain standard, right? So we've gone, uh, well, I've gone for the largest water source, which is what I always do. It's the easiest to uh, manage for it running out of water and fish. Um, secondly, then I'll put down the water sources. Now, I am aware of what I've done in the past, and that is now I use this whole new uh, Cupid spell that allows us to breed uh, the nuggets quicker. Importantly though, I am making sure that my water infrastructure is increased, so that's why I've put two down immediately. I will then make sure I put down the reservoirs around as well, and enough of them. Because with the fact that I'm going to be breeding people the nuggets quicker, means the population should rise quicker. But also because we have nuggets that don't die, our population I'm expecting is to be quite significant. So I want to make sure the infrastructure for the water and food is prior priority one i'm prioritizing the water over food I hope you've been working on your because your nuggets can't get infected or poorly or anything like that on the food they can starve but that's it with the water if you run out of drinking water they will drink from the lake drinking from the lake infects them once they get infected it spreads like wildfire and we have a serious problem so for me and highlander and the way that this immortal nugget works we can't run out of water. We can't afford for people to get ill. For nuggets to get ill. I am going to get away from... At least I'm not saying duplicates anymore. Anyway. Um, so you can see them on there. And that eyeball that is on that stat is specifically for the Highlander. Remember that it doesn't last forever. It is only a chance. And only someone with the Highlander gene can give birth to someone with Highlander. So we will have normal nuggets that are born and die in the normal age barrier, which is, I think when you start about 45 years, you can get them up to sort of 60, 70 with all of the uh, advancements that you make through medicine. Um, but the Highlander will be separate from that and there will be sufficient for you guys to name them. So again, I'm hoping that this is uh, as interesting for you as, uh, as it is for me. Please let me know if you want to name a uh, immortal and what you want them to be named. Whether it's your name or a name that you make up, that is entirely up to you. I do know, because obviously I've played ahead of time for this, there is a fair amount of them. Um, so oh, I won't struggle with naming again, them. I we? shouldn't. It depends on how popular this video gets, but usually my videos aren't that popular. Um, so this should be, I think there's about, last I saved obviously, there was about 20. So we'll see. Um, and also, lastly, there is likely there will be another competition to give away another copy of the game. It is not going to be done in this episode, uh, but it will be done shortly within this series. This series hopefully will last us until the 22nd, and I would love to give away a copy or two, depending on how popular these videos get, uh, to give someone the chance to get this game for Go Live of Alpha 1.0. So back to the game, you can see the guys are working hard. The two water pumps are nearly complete. We have the ability to build the reservoirs. This you can see one in the background is there and it's just started filling up. And then the engineer sort to make sure none of this crap falls sure, down. It's built Remember, priority two for me is cemeteries. Impressive because again, we have to hide from the disease. And once the water is solved, the next one is corpses. And as I said, here we go on the cube. What are you? Some sort whatever of it's called, fairy godmother? thing. So we'll do that. Obviously, help Bart finish their hut. So Bart and Lisa, yes, I know it's a bit weird. Bart and Lisa are together created. in this, but there's oh, no well, I could do about I that. And then Maggie is Bart and Lisa's child instead of powers. Homer's, that but, nugget lays um, it is what it is. So picking up some trees and some stuff from over there to finish this the house, their house. I couldn't find it, but then I realized they actually built it in the middle of nowhere, which was really strange, right? Here it is in the mountains. So again, just pick up a nice big amount of wood and stone and dump it in there and finish it off, and then the stone um, is good. A good thing I've noticed about that ability, when you pick up multiple resources, it won't pick up. It picks up resources only. It doesn't pick up nuggets. I was always scared of picking up a nugget mid-flow, mid but... So that's another quest complete in gar in regards to unlocking the Highlander. Of course, it doesn't matter to me anymore, right? The only thing it does is gives me now the parks, which is still important. I need them for 
the environment, but there is no more genetics to unlock. I don't know whether Alpha 1 will give more. I've not seen that it will. But for now, this is certainly the most uh, interesting trait that I've seen. So I'm happy to have unlocked it, even though, again, it was the most difficult out of all of them. Keep everyone so just looking at the population line, of happy. five or six, they but it's six, and you can see there that there was the five original immortals, stuff. and then yeah. there is one more uh, now. Oh, so Ufes me or Mo or Ufes Mo, yep, yeah, that is the first Highlander outside of the five immortals, and therefore the first that will be named by whoever wishes for them to be named. Um, unless that was the one I've just used for Maggie, I don't know. I'm a bit, I'm a bit lost now because it's already gone past. Anyway. Also, a thing that I didn't mention that I uh, probably should have mentioned nearer the start, but I don't suppose it matters because if you're still watching now, then you guys are the most important people in the world, right? To me, anyway. Um, so, obviously, since this episode and uh, for all future episodes and for all future videos I make, I am now fully 4K enabled. So, thank you to uh, my partner for buying me a very nice gift. I have now upgraded my system to 4K. So from here on out, all videos and games that I play will be in 4K. Hopefully you notice the difference. I certainly have while I've been playing, so for me it's uh, night and day, but we'll see what comes across over YouTube. Okay, so straight into the research, making sure that we keep this running. I don't want it to run out. We know that my game playing skills have kind of been able to keep up with it ish as long as we can keep the nuggets uh population up which gives us enough laborers to Jeez, make things happen the planet is flat um i think obviously this is winter again and winter sucks i'm going to help with the food because the food is a bit low we haven't got the fishing hut yet that was a fail i didn't mean to chuck him in the water uh so i will now chuck it on the surface there we go this one didn't actually work because I chucked it in the water, it seems to glitch out. But if you actually get the, any form of animal and then drop it near the village, it will give them the food. You can drop it directly in the eatery, which is okay, but it doesn't give you all of the food that the animal will give. Because, for example, the that gives, uh, I believe it's 60 or 70, uh, but the maximum is only like 40, so... Doing it that way, as you've just seen, it has put food in there. Now that one did work, but it won't give you as much food as you get from the animal. If you drop the animal on the floor, it gives you the full amount of animal or full amount of food. Sorry, or if you do it in a uh, storage facility, that gives you the full amount as well. So once again, using the creator points I do have to uh, collect some resources to help them out save them having to do it and to also make sure that these buildings are fully stocked so that all they have to do is build and not the actual uh, transportation side because that's where they lack because the transportation is only done by laborers and usually at the beginning you're struggling for laborers you can see over there in the in the right uh, sorry left hand side that there is a building which is a hospital that needs someone to sign in so i can do that myself obviously until we've got the town hall i have to do all of that myself I'm wondering whether the best thing to do for now is pick Highlanders for the specific jobs that are important, like hospitals and stuff, because if they never die, they'll do that job forever, right? So you've got a, like a permanent doctor. Uh, not sure if it works like that, but we can certainly try. And then straight into the graveyards, which again is priority number two, because it is the second way that people can get infected. And of course, that in itself is what we need to stay away from with these Highlanders. I'm not too worried if they do get infected as long as I've got enough creator points. Um, the only other alternative or the only other thing that could be catastrophic is the uh, magic boxes that do the poison where they poison or infect up to about 40 to 50 nuggets. That obviously is 10 per, so you're going to need 500 creator points to heal all of them and that could be quite nasty. Obviously, the first thing I would do is um, filter by Highlander so that I'll make sure that the Immortals are healed first uh, and the rest of them are just able to go to hospitals because they're not contagious as the Highlanders are. Again, just working on the second cemetery here. So that was on the opposite side of what is deemed the settlement or the city at the minute. So there's one on either side, uh, both well, overlapping in the centre in the hope that we don't have um, any 
deaths that make too much of a mess. Now, in terms of find my lost nugget, um, the easiest way to do this is, of course, going to the parent and just clicking on the child and it takes you straight to it. Uh, so, yeah, going into the residential, you can see the child, go on there, click, take me to, fly to, and straight to them, and you can pick them up and rescue him or her. Yes, it's a bit, yes, it's a bit cheesy, uh, but it's can certainly a better option than my original one, which was listen out for the wolves howling and go and look around that area. Um, that was mentioned by a uh, viewer. So thank you very much for that. I'll do it that way from now on because why make life difficult when you can make it simple? And once again, straight into the research, making sure that we keep on top of that. Uh, if at any point I feel like the research is getting ahead of us, I will, of course, um, pause it for a little bit. But the Stone Age part isn't too difficult. It's the medieval to modern that it sometimes gets away from me a little bit. And that's where that's I like to... Interesting Press pause, I should say, just to allow the 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 nuggets to get caught up and resources stocked up. Fishing. Finally, getting a couple of fishing piers down, so that will give us some food in there right as well, and then we'll stock up out. on the staffing for the cemeteries. So we're now covered for cemeteries and for water, and we are as safe as we can be for now, depending on how the population um, grows. And there we go again. Mass lovemaking across the Nugget City. Uh, they're all going back to do their business now to increase our population again. Uh, this is the obviously the quest thing that I'm looking at. Uh, just having a quick look at that to make sure that I'm keeping up with it. Again, I um, I'm going to probably do a separate video on that for you. Again, if you need that, let me know and I'll prioritize it a bit sooner. For now, it's probably going to be a couple of days, if not a week away. Um, but it's not too difficult. You just need to know when or what triggers the actual quests. And a couple of them uh, will be very unlikely for you to trigger unless you know that you have to trigger it. There, there's two for me anyway, which was the gone green because it makes no sense to what um, it actually says the name of the quest. I thought gone green meant that I had to just use green power. It couldn't be any further from the truth. You actually need to make your planet crap um, and then fix it. And then a couple like the broken heart, I think it is one where you have to basically make somebody that's married to someone already fall in love with somebody else. And then you have to kill the cheater. A bit brutal, but it is what it is. And I don't think without knowing that, you would actually trigger that. So um, we'll look into that on that video, should you require it. Again, I am going to do it. I'm just not sure how important or relevant it will be. As far as I've seen from the 1.0, they're not changing any of that. So it still should be relevant, um, along with the uh, genetic side as well. And here we have our first exile moving in. So, at the minute, they won't show that they're negative for, I say negative, sorry, neutral, angry, or ally, whatever, enemy. Uh, until they've actually built that building and they build their first residential building. They all look the same, though. I hope in the future they get they change it up a little bit so they look a little bit different, but it's not the end of the world and the, 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 the logic behind it works nicely. I will, obviously, through this playthrough, not allow them to just be all friends with me because it causes lag. I don't need an army that big. Uh, Town Hall going down. As soon as that's built, we can then get a governor to start stocking the buildings for staff and we don't have to worry about it. Making sure to keep sort of 10 to 15% of the Nuggets as labourers at all times. And then finally, just going back to what I said about... You can see the town hall is complete there. I've skipped a bit of winter, which is why it's jumped ahead. But just looking at the immortals, you can see there is quite a few. And there is quite a few that can be named by you guys. Uh, I realise that you can actually mark them. I always thought that meant favouritists, but you don't you mark them. So I've marked the original five with diamonds. Um, anybody else that gets named you can pick what you want i'll probably just do it as a heart for anybody that's named as a viewer um and while that you can see there over you can see that there is a diamonds are showing so it actually shows you where these uh, nuggets are so you can see as you're just playing the game these specific immortals or named um viewers 
So that should be a bit more interesting as well. Again, I'm hoping that that is something that you guys are interested in as well. It gets you a bit more involved. Up until the point that I actually do I the Twitch the stream where you can be very involved. You, uh, but I'm not quite ready for that as yet. And then jumping a little bit further ahead as well, I'm realising that our um, resource management storage are all practically full so i'm going to get a few more of them dotted around as well because it does make the laborers life a lot easier if all of the resources are located in the places they are required secondly as well i've uh, obviously because i unlocked the second names i've gone across and done the second names for the five immortals and their second name of course is simpson uh, lastly, I forgot to mention it, but obviously I did it right at the beginning. The actual town is called Springfield, just because if you're going to go with a theme, you might as well go all the way. We are at time, though, for the first episode, and actually, although I'd like to do a longer episode for episode one, I want to see what your guys' thoughts are, and if you are uh, interested in interacting as well before I start doing multiple uh, episodes, I want to make sure I get people's names in that want to be in. So on that note, thank you very much for watching. If you like the video, please click like. It does help find new viewers to join in with us. Subscribe for more. There are more of obviously more games I play. If you if you'd like to watch them, that would be fantastic. Thank you again for watching. Take care. Goodbye.